Opera Rocks, this is Joyce DiDonato, and welcome to the second installment of my newsletter. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you all for signing up, for joining this community. I hope you're starting to connect across state lines and countries and, and um, reaching out to each other to explore this crazy, endless, fascinating world of opera. I had an incredible experience yesterday that I want to share with you. And as I was thinking about it, I realized the timing is really good because I'm trying to um, find the right umbrella under which this newsletter and this community will work with you all and to try and clarify exactly why I'm doing this. Um, as I told you all, I know that sometimes you feel a bit isolated, but you're really passionate about your love for opera and you want to find out more and you're curious. So I want to share my experience with you yesterday, which I hope will serve to be kind of a guiding light about this community. And it's certainly something I'm, I want to try and bring more into my singing and my career. It's something that's always been important to me, but it's just getting revved up even more. When I was your age, this was before Google, <laughs> When I was your age, um, I swept into high school as a very um, nerdy, uh, not terribly popular misfit in a way in, 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 in high school. And I joined the choir and that's where I felt at home. It's where I felt the community of people that I could relate to, that I understood, that I liked. <laughs> and we started look, going into this world of choral music from Renaissance madrigals to modern music, some pop music, some musical things, um, Beethoven, Bach, Mozart. And this door started to creak open into another world for me. And what amazed me was how powerful it felt. And I think it was because for the first time in my life, I was really understanding what it meant to join my voice with other people and, and start to experience something much bigger than myself. To join a community of people where the goal was the same, the expressive intention was the same, and all of a sudden my little world grew and grew and grew and I thought, I'm more powerful with other people than I am by myself. I understand the world a little bit better and I feel less alone, less isolated. Because together we're connecting and we're finding this expressive vehicle to try and understand the world a little bit better. That's what got me into this world of music. I wasn't an opera lover at all. You guys are way ahead of the curve for me on that. I didn't like opera. Um, how I got into that I can maybe save for another day. But I want to tell you what happened yesterday. Carnegie Hall has a lot of outreach programs into the community. Um, and one of the programs that they have is, is going into prisons and bringing music to people that are incarcerated. So I joined them on this journey yesterday and I went upstate in New York to a federal prison called Sing Sing, which is a maximum security prison Actually, I think it's a state prison, um, but it's it's maximum security. Uh, it's for a population of about 1,600 men, and they're in there for the worst of the worst crimes. You can use your imagination. And um, it's not an incredibly diverse population. It's, it's primarily African-American, Latino, a little bit Caucasian. And it varies of all ages from 18 to 70, 80 years old. And people are in at all different stages. Carnegie Hall brings in teachers to help them to learn instruments and primarily to learn how to compose music. They were told that this opera singer was interested in coming and if they felt like writing a song for me, they could. So yesterday I met them for the first time and I was singing the music that they had composed for me. One is a solo piece for string quartet and mezzo um, and it's an ode to this man's father. 
and two other gentlemen wrote duets and I am singing these pieces with them. Next week we'll go and we'll give a concert to part of the prison population, about 300 men. Um, the men who I think have been on good behavior. <laughs> it was an extraordinary day because I don't know when I've been surrounded by more kindness, appreciation, and generosity than I was yesterday. Music has been a lifeline for these men and it is truly transforming their lives. It's bringing dignity back to them. It's bringing clarity to their situation. Uh, it's giving them literally breath as they try and sing and play this music. And it's therapeutic and giving them a chance to understand their place in the world and what they've done. The reason I'm telling you this story is because right now, all of you, if, first of all, I think if you're drawn to the world of opera, you have a comprehension about life that is perhaps um, a bit more complex than your colleagues and your peers at school. There's something about this big, profound world that has attracted you. And I applaud you for that. It's brave and it's amazing. And keep going with it because it's fantastic. Some of you are singers and some of you just enjoy the music. If you're a performer, the reason I'm telling you this story is because there's a responsibility that comes with performing. There's a joy and um, a high that comes with singing music and performing and that's fantastic and you're entitled to that. And let that feed you and let that lift you up and bring joy to your life. But singing is also a healing art. And it's there to give expression to things that, that words cannot contain, that movement cannot express. It's here to try and help us grasp something that is bigger than ourselves. And you have this incredible power within you to share that with people, to invite them to take this journey and discover something deeper about themselves, to give them a chance to experience relief to the sorrow that they feel, to the confusion they feel, um, to desperation. You all feel this, I know you do. It's why you come to music, because it speaks to you and it helps you find sense in all the chaos. It's also a great relief and to be able to explode into joy and happiness and um, euphoria that music brings you. It's all of those things. But you have the chance to help other people find that when they don't know what that path might be for themselves. This is an incredible thing. As you're studying music, you're going to work on intonation and breath support and diction and expression and phrasing and all of those technical things. And you have to work really, 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 really hard at it because that's your tool, that's your instrument, that's your freedom to allow your soul to take flight through the music. What I encourage you to do and invite you to do is under this umbrella that I'm trying to, um, I don't know, weave this, this, this community into, is that it has the power to transform people's lives. And if you can give one person a sense of relief and a sense of hope and a sense of clarity in their life, you're changing the world. You're certainly changing the world of that person. And that's powerful. I sang a duet with Joseph yesterday uh, he's a big man. If I only looked at him with the eyes of him being a prisoner and the context of where I was behind bars, behind lock and key, I would have been very frightened of him. But I had the safety of a music room and people around me. And I, I opened my, um, my mind and my heart to him and I said, okay, let's see what this is gonna be. 
and he had composed a song um, in, this, in the spirit of a spiritual gospel song. And in it, it's a three verses, and he was exploring the sense of what it feels like to still be a slave today in his skin because of the color of his skin, because of where he was born. He wasn't playing a victim, but he was stating how he felt in his skin. And then he went on to question where and when in his life he had failed to accept love. You know, this is, this is a big topic because he was trying to understand his responsibility in when he shunned love. And he was finding his voice through the music. And he was singing it because the emotion was so big that just writing down the words or just speaking the words wasn't enough. He needed to sing it. And then my job was at the end to have a stretta saying there's a place for all of us. There's a place for all of us. There's a place for all of us. And I think he believes that. And I think this music has allowed him to feel hope. If any of you have had a really bad day and you wonder why you should go on or why things are the way they are, you know that hope is something really precious. Music can give that to people. So as you're sitting there and you're thinking, I don't sound very good, I don't know if I sound good, I'm a little embarrassed to sing, that's a natural thing. But what I would encourage you to do is start really contemplating the fact that it might not be about you. It might be about you using your talent and your gift to help somebody through a bad moment to help somebody celebrate, to help somebody grieve. That's why you guys are in music, I know it. And you have that power to alleviate that sorrow for somebody, maybe only for a minute, but that might be all that they need. So as we go on this journey and you ask me questions, give, send me questions, let me know what you guys think of the of things, send me topics you'd like me to address. But I really wanted to kick this off with, I know, admittedly a heavy, long, this is long, message about why I'm doing this. But I think it's really important that we never lose sight of the power that we have to really heal people, change their lives, change their world, change the world. Because you guys can do that. Okay? I wish you all the best. Have a fabulous finish to your semesters. As you're having giving concerts, Christmas winter concerts at the end of the year, have a fabulous time. Take the break to really kind of reset and then decide what kind of year you want to have. I hope it's a fantastic one. Opera rocks. And keep passing this on to your friends. Subscribe. Send it out. Send me your questions and feedback. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. Take care.